What's up, a cinema show gun here, and Amber Heard and her legal team claim that she is broke and that she cannot afford to pay Johnny Depp. Well, it just came out today that she actually rented a mansion to stay in during the Johnny Depp trial, and this mansion cost her $22,000 a month. $22,000 a month. Yet they want us to believe that this woman is broke. Yet she's out here living a lavish lifestyle. I don't know about you all, but every single day when she showed up to court, I would look at the suits and the dresses and the earrings and stuff she was wearing. And all of that stuff was really expensive. There's actually some famous designers that actually made some of the outfits that she wore to court. Some of those earrings were thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. Yet, of course, once it's time to pay up, she's broke. So what I want to do is I want to give you all an inside look at where Amber Turd was staying during this whole trial. It's a really nice mansion in Virginia. It has a tennis court, a freaking tennis court, a home theater, a spa inside of it. I mean, this was an amazing place. And it's definitely not a place that broke people would ever get a chance to stay in. So I don't believe she's broke as she claims that she is, or as broke as she claims that she is. And I also believe there's plenty of people out there willing to pay her bills. I don't know what this woman does to them or for them in exchange, but hey, she's got a couple of lap dogs, some really rich lap dogs, they don't seem to mind paying her way through life. Amber Heard stayed in a luxury $22,500 a month Virginia mansion during her blockbuster defamation trial against Johnny Depp. Despite forking over for the 13,000 square foot home throughout the trial, she now claims that she cannot afford to pay Johnny Depp. I want you all to just look at this home. It's in McLean, Virginia. 13,000 square foot mansion. It features sweeping double staircases and it's two story grand entryway. Look at this entryway, that's beautiful. Someone as ugly as she is doesn't deserve to stay here. You know, she's literally famous and rich now because of how she defamed Johnny Depp. Most people don't know who this woman is from her acting or her roles in whatever movie she's in. They know her from this trial. They know her from being the woman that pooped in Johnny Depp's bed. It has a massive living room, a view from the living room into the kitchen. It's just beautiful. Now, despite her representation's claims of financial woes, Heard hunkered down in the lap of luxury with her family while the trial played out. The actress rented out a 13,000 square foot mansion in McLean, Virginia, a leafy DC um, suburb and a 25 minute drive from the Fairfax County Courthouse where her trial played out over six weeks. The house sits on an acre of land and sports a tennis court, a home theater, eight bedrooms, a pair of sweeping staircases in the entryway. A Zillow listing for the property describes it as one of the most distinctive, one of the most distinctive and private estates offered in McLean and gushes about a two-story grand foyer with an elegant double curved staircase, a true wow and dream for entertainers. So this is basically like one of the best homes this town has to offer, and Amber Heard is there, despite having not enough money to pay Johnny Depp. You know, I would think that if you're a responsible person, you know that you're a freaking liar, and you're in the middle of a trial where you're getting exposed for every lie that you've told over the past decade, I would think that maybe, just maybe, you would be smart and be like, hey, you know what? Maybe I don't need to stay in a $22,000 a $22,000 a month mansion with a tennis court. Do you think Amber Turd plays tennis? Probably not. You know what she did use? 
that bar, I'm sure she drunk a lot of wine, but I doubt that she's out there playing tennis. Do you think she needs a home theater? What is she doing? Watching Johnny Depp's hits, you know, back to back when she gets off home from court? Like, what the heck? This woman is, I guess, living above her means. If you want to believe that she's as broke as she says she is, I think this woman has a lot more money than what people assume. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like there's still people, Elon Musk, <coughs> Elon Musk, that are still paying for this woman's way through life. I feel like she's probably got dirt on a few other fellas, a few other powerful fellas out there, and she uses that to leverage herself through life. And I wouldn't be surprised if she's not the one paying the bill for this place. In fact, let's see if we could find anything about that. Yep, right here. Rental records on the listing do not include Heard's name. But they show that the, prop the property was rented on May 4th, 2020. It is unclear if the property was being rented at the start of the trial on April 11th. So, hmm... Isn't that crazy? This property was rented out on May 4th, 2020. Have you looked at the date lately? I'm looking for a watch. I don't wear a watch, but have you looked at the date lately? It's 2022. June 2022. Now, assuming that this isn't a typo... Okay, I'm having some confusion here. I'm not sure if this is a typo on their behalf or if Amber Turd actually rented out this property two years before the trial even started and she's just been dumping money into this place for no reason or not. So I'm not sure if they meant that she rented this on May 4th, 2022, but the date says the 20, it says 2020. And her name's not actually on the um, records because someone else is paying for this place. You know, I mean, big surprise there. Who's paying for this place? I mean, I guess we could all make our best guesses here, but it's not her. A at least that's what they want us to believe. I'm not sure. But witnesses are reporting that Heard was seen at the home with her sister Whitney and her daughter and her security detail and they see her at the property and leaving the property every morning to go to court and coming back to their property every night after court. So as I'm looking through this home, I'm wondering how long was she renting this place out? Now, of course, her lawyer was on the Today Show and they asked her, will Amber Heard have enough money to pay Johnny Depp? And she was like, no, absolutely not. So she was acting surprised like people like like people had the audacity to believe that Amber Heard had money. Why would you assume Amber Heard would have this money to pay Johnny Depp? Well, maybe because the last couple of years she was renting a home that she didn't even use that cost her twenty two thousand dollars a month. This woman's got a tennis court in the back of her house. We would assume that she's got a little bit of money. But now. Oh, she's just a peasant. She's broke. She's scraping her way through life. Yet this woman's out here jet-setting around the world, living a lavish lifestyle. So which one is it? Which one is it? So I just wanted to give you all just a look at this place. You know, this isn't the place of someone who's broke. This isn't a place that someone stays in when they don't have money. So I think we need to go ahead and get rid of that notion that Amber Heard is broke. I know that people who are on Johnny Depp's side, it might it might seem funny, like, yeah, ha, ha, Amber Heard's broke. That's what she gets. But don't feed into that nonsense because that's what they want you to do. They want you to spread the news that Amber Heard is broke. She can't afford this because it's making her look like a victim. And it's making the story more believable. Whereas I feel like she has money. She just doesn't want to pay up. Now, does she have $15 million to send to Johnny Depp right now? That's not what I'm saying. But to think that this woman or to act like this woman is broke and she's having a hard time getting by, complete nonsense. She was just living in this lavish place for months on end. And so 
the records say 2020. So apparently she was renting out this place long before the trial even started, just in preparation of the trial, which is absolutely crazy to me if this is a woman who's supposedly pinching her pennies right now. But I want to know your thoughts about all of this down in the comments below. Don't believe Amber Heard is broke. Don't let her get a one over on you. While you're down in the comments, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a super thanks if you like anything I had to say here today. Or you can support the channel via Cash App. But as always, I'll talk to you in the next video.